Somewhat. It's this though. And everything that's on here, I want y'all to I want y'all to go read it and why. Don't just take this information and just go try to put this on here and think this is gonna work. It don't work that way. That's how you get account deleted fast. See this 15 USC 6092 JA? You're gonna go read that. You go read 15 USC 6092 CA. You're gonna go read that. You're going to read 1692B5. You're going to read that. You're going to read 1692B2. You're going to go read that. Every section is basically broken down on here down to the payment. It's Sorry. a fine. Look, that's that count number. They say you owe the money, right? And y'all know I teach all this all the time. That's the copy the, and paste, right? The, the yeah, what, what's this right here? 46999. What do this right. say right here? Forty six nine nine nine. This is right. really a part of the account. It's a barcode that was scanned for that account. That's your account number, right? This is the account number right here. Every right. time they send you something in the mail, it's just a contract that you agree to. Let me tell you all what I read up on is going to blow your mind. Imagine giving me your credit card information and you sign documents with me and I send you a bill to pay my taxes. Because this is the whole time these bills right here is to pay their taxes. Correct. That's a check. Correct. Oh, it's been a check the whole time. That's why you turn it over. When you turn it over, you can sign the back of it. Who just do like a check to me? Enjoy is that it. a check? Uh, is that a check? Yes, sir. Is we got a check. count on the Facts. bottom? Facts. Okay, let's go back mm -hmm. to that. So look. Let's get into it. Your account number, your previous balance. A violation. Average Four, five, eight, six. A violation. Total fees and charges. A violation. Violation. Normal, a uh, new balance. Minimum balance. Violations. Interest charge. Violation. Mm -hmm. An annual balance uh, subject to interest rate. Violation. Violation. An annual percentage rate. APR. Violation. APR. Stoneberry. Violation. <laughs> <laughs> account balance a violation because they got a dollar sign and it's anything it's positive I owe nothing and it's positive that, it should be a minus a negative sign that the payment now due on your account has not been received violation that's crazy me that crazy tell me to that's about two thousand dollars right there. Two thousand dollars, man. That's yeah. like oh, yeah. bill. Hold on. I've been so hold far. On, hold on. Hold you on. want to see the bill? Hold on. Leave. God said, damn. They go to bill. He said. He said ten. He said five thousand. <laughs> they go to bill. That's more than that. Look at that balance. That's more than that. That's a check. Hold on. Let me get. Let me get out, Jim. Read this part of it. Emotional distress. Defamation of character, character, other unseen injuries. How much money is that cost them? Five. Quantity of five. How much is that? Five thousand dollars. Okay. Who we talking to? They had ten violations of sixty ninety two D five. Leave. I want to know who talking. Leave. Who talking to me? I, I got a, I got a bedroom here. I can hide your head because I ain't on the records. <laughs> they coming for your ass. <laughs> you can't never go back outside again. So so basically, I got a bunker for my you. boy. Yeah. So the cease and desist. So for them for them being able to well for the for them actually contacting you, um and not having the right to even do business in in that state, you can just order a cease and desist. Hey, you, ready, you ready for this? I'm not done with you. I know you're asking me some questions. <laughs> I ain't done. Don't worry about it. I got you back. Here you um, go. I'm about to come up you land the plane right now. You ready? Land the plane. I got you right now. Read, read this real nice, and, real nice and solid. You ready? Yeah. 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 Thing, uh, right that's, go. that's what you was looking yeah. for. That's what I was looking for. All right. Present the 15 USC 1692A3. I am a what? Consumer. Consumer. Did I activate the right from the beginning? So I'm activating my rights from the beginning. 
Just like right. they say, you swear to tell the truth to help you God. Yes. That means exactly. you plan on, after you say that you're telling the truth, right? We telling the truth. I'm activating my consumer rights. 59, 15 USC 1692 CC. I notify you as Stoneberry in writing that I refuse to pay this acknowledged debt and I demanding that you cease all forms of communication with me through any and all mediums. Hmm. Guess what? I'm invoking my specific, my specified remedy, right? My, my specified remedy as a consumer and that the original creditor and I'm demanding all following. Zero out what? My account? Correct. Keep my credit line account open. Close my account would be a violation of 15 U.S.C. 1691 what? A. A. Pay the positive balance to I, which is who? I the consumer. consumer. Present to what? Pursuing. Pursuant to 15 U.S.C. 1660. Amount included in a bill in particular. We didn't call it an invoice. We called it a what? Particulars. Yep. Bill in particular, right? That was the invoice. Correct. An invoice meaning no voice. Pay the uh the attached in, uh, invoice a bill in particular. Compensate the compensate who? The I the customer. For every violation labeled in the attached exhibits of what present to what? Fifteen USC sixteen ninety two K. Uh, uh to fifteen USC sixteen ninety two. H uh, shall apply to all payments made by check to my place of a, a bank. I mean, bot. Uh, all payments made are included in the bill. And what? Particulars. I do not give Stoneberry permission to speak to a third party. Who are we talking about? The third party. The creditors, the um, consumer reporting agencies. Regarding this knowledge, what? I, the consumer, as this. Oh no, no, as this alleged that. Alleged debt. Uh huh. As that would be the violation of what? 15 USC 1692. I do not give Stoneberry permission to bring legal action against who? I, I the consumer. The consumer, as this is a, would be a violation of what? 15 USC 1692. I, I, B. I, I do not require you, Stoneberry, to remove. I do require you. Stoneberry to remove immediately information about this acknowledge what? Debt. From who? My from my Equifax. I mean Equifax. Well, my Equifax Experian and TransUnion credit report. Which is a violation of what? 15, 15 USC. Uh, 15 USC 1692 1692 CB and 1592 1692 B2. I do require that you, Stoneberry, satisfy the demands within what? 10 business, Ten business days. Present to, to 15 U.S.C. 1692 CC, this season and desist notification shall be completed upon what? Receipt. What is a receipt? The green, uh, the, the green oh. card. Okay. Uh, certified mail. I declare penalty of perjury under the law of the United States of America that this foregoing is true and correct. 28 U.S.C. 1746. Mm. Executed in that day. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Come on, man. I, I, uh, uh, I ain't uh, going front. Leaf, I, I, need one, I, need one of, I need one of those templates yeah, right I, there, bro. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to throw that on the gurus, but you tell me what's going on, man. Like, where the gurus you just, uh, You just landed the plane. <laughs> Did I, did I, hold on. Did I just give y'all a brick that? And that wasn't even a, that wasn't even a. Hold on, I ain't even get into the affidavit. That was the beginning. That was, that was, just, that was the exhibits. Yeah, that was just the cease and desist. That's exhi exhibit A. <laughs> hello. That was just exhibit A. That's the hello. You ain't even good exactly night. Exhibit A. You want to get into the? You want to get into the affidavit of truth? Let's do it. Yo, hold on. I gotta show you something, Lee. No, I notice to all, uh, I am that I am the citizens of heaven, the consumer in effect, natural person, original creditor, lender, executor, administrator, holder in due course. Oh my stars! Oh my! Oh my stars! Did y'all hear that? 
Nah, that's a new word. He said, oh, oh my stars. stars. <laughs> Notice to all, I am that I am the citizens of heaven. That's living, that's a soul. Mm. The consumer, in fact, natural person, original creditor, lender. Because I, I became the creditor and I lend you my credit there for y'all can get money. I'm the executor and I'm an administrator, holder in due course of any and all thereof of surnames given. James Murray. And I have been appointed and accept being the executor of both public and private. Mm. For all matters proceeding, I hereby claim I will DBA Mary Jones and autograph as the agent and attorney in fact. So be it. Uh, whereas I of age, majority gave here in notice to all I am oath to one and only with high curation only, whoever that may be, I, de I uh, depose the following fact, so be it. Now, present. I just, that was, that's some shit like I just was in court. <laughs> Did I get your court stars. Bars? Oh, stars. The bars and laws. Bars and laws. Number one, fact, the Fourth Amendment, y'all forgot about that law. Y'all forgot about the Fourth Amendment. Y'all forgot about the Fourth Amendment. What y'all want me to do? What y'all want me to do? Don't lie to him. Don't, yo, I'm telling you right now, y'all getting y'all getting Zoom work. I ain't even lying to y'all. But I, I got I'ma teach. The Fourth Amendment, the Fourth no. Amendment is intent to ensure that the right to the people to be Security. secure in their in person, house, papers, papers, papers and, and effects. effects. Against, against unreasonable searches, seizures, uh, look, seizures uh, not, uh, shall not be violated, and no warrant, no warrant shall, shall is issued. Issue, but but a probable upon probability, cause. probable cause supported by oath of affirmation. I know I'm a notary and all that. Yeah. By support, oath, or affirmation, particularly describing a place to be searched and person or dares to be seized, right? Uh, my Fourth Amendment rights has been violated, so be it. So, did they violate our Fourth Amendment rights? Yes, sir. They never secured what? Papers. Which was that? When I said some urgency about authentic, uh, authentication, authentication of documents. Authentication of, doc of documents. Oh, I didn't make this up, did I? Nah. Oh, okay. Number two, fact. A Fair Debt Collection Practice Act is intended to secure the rights to what? Privacy. privacy. And my privacy has been breached, so be it. Right? That's number two. This is an affidavit of truth, yo. Right. Truth in lending. Intended to help the consumer to avoid uninformed use of credit and to protect the consumer against inaccurate, unfair credit billing and credit card practices and I, the consumer, do not receive, did not receive a meaningful disclosures, so be it. Number four, I am sure removal of my information from the credit report agencies will ensure my privacy right, right? Won't be violated again. There, I mean, uh, this here in unrebutted affidavit of truth being served to you today, therefore standing at truth and commerce, so be it. Told me to do it. Now what? Well, they they didn't all stuff anything clicked, to you. Ready? Yeah, they didn't disclose anything to you. They just went behind your back and did what they wanted to do with the third party collection agency. Perfect. Fat of Affian is aware. So let me know I'm aware. It has proof and attachment labels at exhibit A that all bills and coupons are the obligation of the United States. Pleasant to 18 USC 8. What y'all want me to do? Lie to you or cry to you? No need. They no want you to lie to them. Right there in black and white. So, about, uh, United States, let me ask them a question. Hey, United States, let me ask you a question. If you own me and I'm a citizen, watch, y'all. If you own me and I'm a citizen, right? But I got a consumer, I got consumer rights, right? But I'm a citizen. It's a United States. 
is obligated to pay all my bills. You say I'm a citizen. I got to act on my consumer rights. So if I'm under a citizen, then you're supposed to pay all my bills. I ain't say that. Yeah, I, I, I ain't see that, show. I ain't see that. See, this live, huh? You know I'm Jimmy Chu. Did I land a plane? You landed it. That was a good night right there. Oh, uh, I'll keep going. See, see, it's, it's, it can go so hard, man. Exhibit A labeled that Stoneberg is a violation of 1605A and therefore has committed a crime pledging to 15 U.S.C. 6. So what it is, is y'all, so this is what I need y'all to do. Let's, let me teach you how to write an affidavit. How you probably write an affidavit is like this. When you deal with affidavits, you want to pitch a fact as an affidavit, right? And you want to let you know that you're aware and you have proof of your attachments and labels, right? As exhibit. So this exhibit is everything in one that you're saying is wrong. So then you're going to say that the Stoneberry would be the company. So let's say it's Capital One, right? Would be the company or one, two, three, debt collector, right? Would be one. So they're in a violation. You're going to say what the violation is. The violation is going to be 15 U.S.C. 1605A. What that's supposed to mean, right? You go to that. You see what that means. So that's what you're saying is there was a violation. Therefore, they have committed a crime. So once you pull that violation out, right, then you got to show how they committed the crime. And what the crime is going to be 15 U.S.C. 1611, woeful and knowing. Right. Yes, knowing that y'all not able to give me a finance charge. I know they don't teach this type of stuff to y'all, but this is real game. So now you're going to say, all right, exhibit A, that credit was extended using the Affian credit card as defined. Now, watch the game, how this played out. I just said, exhibit A, that the credit was extended using the Affian credit card. What was the credit card? as defined in 15 U.S.C. 1602i. That states that the definition of a credit card. You got it now? So this thing about you is in the courtroom, right? And then you tell Yana, well, yeah, here go work on my paperwork, Yana. Now, if you go read this law, you can pull it up on the screen. It basically said my credit card, I, I was uh, as a consumer, I'm extending my credit card, uh, which is my social security card, and you can read it's defined in 15 U.S.C. 1602i. And you go read the definition. It says the same thing that you're saying. Who sounds good in court? You do. Y'all got quiet. Let me get off. No. Let me get you... off. Let me get off. Oh, let me keep going. All right. Yeah, go ahead. Now, look. Stoneberry is in a violation, again, in 15 U.S.C. 1692-B-2, right? You're going to go read that. See what that means. You got to add that to the letter. Then you're going to say Stoneberry is in another violation of 1692-B-5, right? And then you're going to say Stoneberry is another violation of 1692CA. It's a lot of work, but it's easy because you can just take the same thing I'm telling y'all right now. Fat, fat, Affian is aware and have proof of attachment labeled as Exhibit A. So you're letting them know that here go to Exhibit A, and this is the stuff that I'm saying that's, is accurate, and this is what it is. I'm putting the laws in it so you would know, but then you need to see the real definitions. I got that written already down as a cease and desist letter. You got it now? Yeah. Tomorrow. I'm typing for the set of a record studio. <laughs> GG. Yo, listen, man. What do I like about uh big business say, man? You blank, man. You lost you miss it. That's a fact. Yeah. Right? So um uh, now watch. Number 15. The Abbey is aware it has proof of the attached label, right? As exhibit A. That Abbey has a positive account balance. I ain't say that. I'm gonna say it again. Thanks. Exhibit A, the affiant has a positive account balance, which indicates, see that, that's a big word right there, which indicates that the affiant had funds available to him pleasant to 15 U.S.C. 1666-D. So it's showing proof that, you know, that the amount is a positive, is a positive form. Positive number, yeah. Hold on. When it Just says number. indicates. It, absolutely. Then I put on there, I swear to all information provided here, and I do so under penalty and perjury. So I'm willing to go to jail. I'm telling everything I'm saying is accurate. That the information that I form to be true, correct, and accurate. Because listen here, y'all. Is the information they got about you is true? They never came and validated the information was true. Is the information they put in your credit report, is it correct? Is the information that they're getting, is the numbers correct? How about that? So is it true that this, this is Cassandra? Is it correct that this is our information? 
is it accurate that she owed her money? Do she owe the money? Do it make no. sense now, y'all? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. To the best of my ability and knowing so do, so be a uh, uh, be it. So this is how you gotta look at it, right? Yeah. Is these companies oh, sending you this stuff and sending you, yo, do you really owe this money? I need to know do you really owe this money? You know why they ain't gonna send you that? They know you're gonna say you don't owe it. Right. But it's not about whether you owe it or not. It's about what how how they're how they're presenting it, meaning that they're not presenting it accurately. And that's what the violation is. It's not about whether they can verify whether you owe the money or not. And that's what they do. They just send it back, verify. Well, I'm not asking you to verify. I'm asking you, is you know, on the grounds of it's not accurate. There you go, Kassan. Now you got it, Queen. That that's that's something I think that people don't teach. That's right? what this, yeah, right? that's what people this don't, people teach. don't that's teach. That's what people miss that, because right. they it's, always it's, say it never can be anybody can be verified. I right. can verify Kassan. They gonna come back verified all day. Okay. Her last word is on social and her address, and she's verified. They are gonna verify it all day, but it's not but, about it being verified. It's about so watch this. information is accurate so and this. whether they have the authority to even. Report that information. How you verify me, and you, I ain't never seen the information about me. Right. I got to call you to verify who I am, and I ain't never do business with you. They did. You see what I'm saying? Right. So exactly. watch this. Watch this, Jim. So now, your, your letter came back verified, right? Right, right. Cool. You say, oh, you know it's me, whatever. My question would be, I never asked for verification. I never said I it wasn't mine. For, is this accurate? Right. I said this information you got on me is inaccurate, number one, and it's incomplete because it's missing information. You might also, got you might got what? one, two, three, four, star, star, star. That's also as incomplete. Also, do they have the right to even report that? Oh, that's Metro too. So watch. At the end of that, right, or that, 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 that page two, they're not throwing in this. With a, look, then you got to get this person notarized. It's the third page you got to get notarized. It said, I do not accept your offer to contract, and I do not consent with these proceedings. That's big. Right. I don't even accept your contract. No. Oh. So, because when they send you that, when that debt cuts you in a bill, that's a contract if you pay it. Right. You you agreeing? You entering in the con into the contract with them? Facts. Then that you pay it. Hold on. That that document got to be new. That's the third page. The fourth page I read y'all was for cease and desist. <laughs> See that cease and desist that I read? That was to let them know all why you cease and desist them. And you need your money back. Exactly. That the whole time that you said I was paying, that I needed to pay. Since you said I owe it, pay me my money. Right. And then, like I told you, I broke down the bill. So just think about how this all works. It seems like a lot, but I'm going to tell you, I'll be honest. You do this a couple times, this becomes a breeze. It's going to be the same violations. Right. It's going to become a breeze. All you got to do, to be honest, that's cut and paste. I'm being honest. It's a cut mm -hmm. and paste for you. You really, If you really think about it, it's going to be a crazy cut and paste because you can do the same thing every time you see a debt collection. Right. Because you can debt collection. It's, it. the same, it's the same it's platform. It's right. the same as that. All you do is change things, change it around, send it to them. They're going exactly. to break. They're going to break because it's going to cost them money. Right. And that, and that's why it doesn't, you know, it doesn't seem like, that's what makes it not seem like a lot because it's the same thing each time. Boy, that boy so Jimmy. Where's Waldo? You on one today, boy. <laughs> Where's Waldo? Now watch this, y'all. Y'all ready for this? So look, you would have said that, right? Look, you just you just said that. Now this the gem. Y'all ready for the gem today? That's that's the debt collector I sent that to, right? Then I want you to slide over. Watch this how I slide this over. Now we're gonna go at the the creditor. So this was like a wall. This like a little sample. This a Wells Fargo. That Stonebag was a debt collector. Y'all got it. Right. Stonebag was a debt collector. Wells Wells Fargo was the creditor at the time. Right. So they sold this to, to Stoneberry. Stoneberry, I just ate them up. They don't want to smoke them, right? Now I got to go after the who? The Wells CEO Fargo. company of Wells Fargo. Hold them up. them a letter, right? And now I'm going to say, and this is short letter, so cute, short. 
It's only like a, like two sentences. It's like a sentence. It's the enclosed. You will find an unsworn declaration of truth in a cease and desist with demands of I to consume it and exhibits as proof of Wells Fargo violation against I, the consumer. You, Wells Fargo, have three business days upon receipt to respond or satisfies my demands. So I'm telling them they're even going to respond, right, to and they want to satisfy for giving my information to them, which was authenticating features. Facts. And then at the bottom, I'm, the there, I'm gonna say, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bang with the Attorney General offers in their state. I'm gonna say that again. They in the state of Connecticut, William Tang, he's the Attorney General. He, he's the Attorney General in there. They got, they got the letter. Uh, Mary, uh, 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 Garland is a United States uh, Attorney General. I said it. I'm gonna say it again. Mary, uh, Mary, uh, Garland is the United States Attorney General. So, remember, it's mine. There's two Attorney Generals on here. On, the Attorney General of Connecticut and then the Attorney General of the United States. The states. So you're gonna put them both in it. So I'm letting you know that. In the, the CIPB on here, too. So I'm letting you know that that's a short letter. All I'm telling him is for you doing that, an unsworn declaration of truth, right? And a uh, 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 cease and desist with a demand of I, the consumer, exhibits as proof. So everything you sent to the debt collector, you send it to him then. But what you're not going to send, all you're going to do is send him is the affidavit of truth and cease and desist. See that? With the violations. And you're going to send him the bill. Got it now? Because yes. they both, it's called a chain of connection. So they all in it together. So it's like, we don't know what deal that Wells Fargo and Stoneberry got going on. So y'all right. might be saying, all right, if I get this, you get this three, this five grand out of him, I'm going to toss you back a thousand of it. I don't right. know what's going on behind closed doors with y'all too. Y'all slick. Yeah. So since I don't know what's going on, I got to hold you accountable with it. And I did business with you, Wells Fargo. And because I know, because she ain't banking that this information is supposed to be secured. It got leaked out. You're supposed to have a right to privacy. They violated that. They violated your right to privacy by selling information to the debt collector. They, they didn't give it to them. They sold it to them. Sold it to them. Without your, without your knowledge, without your, without your consent, and it was it, it, un, it unlawfully. And all unlawfully. Come on, y'all. Where's Jim at? Where's Jim? Yo, it's consigned. This letter, man, is I swear, where is our ring? Oh, it hey, consigned. Yes. You talking about dangerous? <sighs> wow, man. <sighs> and and y'all, the crazy thing is, y'all, this was an auto loan. That's crazy. Let me break this down so y'all can do this. And this is all, I'm going to give you all facts. No fluff with it, right? An auto loan, right? You know why? Let me ask y'all. I'm, I'm going to try to put this in the chat for me. Put a one if you know. Put a two if you don't know. Do you really know why the bank take your car or foreclose your home? Put a one in the chat if you do know why. Put a two in the chat if you don't know. And I can't even see what's going on because I don't know what happened to the chat. You know how they do me. They, they, they shadow banned me a long time ago. I'm about to give y'all a gem. Y'all hear me? If you don't, I want, if, I'm going to say this again. You want to, I'm going to tell you why they repo your car and why your house get foreclosed. And the reason why this happened I'm going to give you the law why they can't. Let's, let's, see, let's see if they're paying attention, concern. I want to see if they're paying attention. And shit, I'm, I always say that. My fault, y'all. You don't definitely follow me if you don't know me. I definitely is a, 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 influ spe a influence speaker. I'm, I, listen, keep your mindset right. 
I'm gonna give you game, free gems, and I'm gonna put you in the right direction no matter what. So watch. I'm tell you all this. I'm a great mentor. I'm a great teacher. Everything I do is, is all all facts, no fluff. The best. He's the best. No matter, uh, I, got good, yeah. I got something for him. Hold on. I got something for him. He's 100 percent the best. Sub so, sign. Hey Lee. I got something for him. Hold on. I got something for him. Hey yo. Hey, hey, shout out to my God, man. And Lee, man. I appreciate the what that say? Oh. No fluff. <laughs> What's up, Lee? Oh, what's up, my guy? You see what I got on? Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Let me what see. you got on, man? Somebody give you a chance. Two, two. Let me see what I got on. No fluff. You ready? Let me get out of the gym on it. Do the thing. Let me get out of the gym on it. Your car get rebooted not because of the loan. Cause I won't tell you this is true. I promise she's gonna tell you this. Not because of you pay twenty thousand dollars for the car. Your car is getting repoed because the bank charge you six thousand per six six uh charge you six thousand on the interest. On the and interest. that's what they taxing you for, and that's why they come to take your car because they want they little six percent. Interest. I don't think he heard you. Let me say it one more time. The bank repo your car and foreclose your home because they want their interest money. They don't care about the other money because guess what, y'all? It was created for you. It was created through you. That's, that's so you never owed the Wait, bank any the money. Right. The, the bank only get you for the what? 15 USC 1605A. Trial. Finance charge. This hey. is why they repo on your car. This is why they foreclosing your home because they want their money that they charge you interest on. Mm. That's it. Mm. Hundred percent correct. Mm. They want that so compound interest on top of interest on top of interest. And if you if you don't pay, that's why they repo on it because they're not going to get it. Because all the money you pay for the actual property goes into escrow. They don't touch that money. No. They just collect their interest. That's it. So when they take it to your house, it's because we didn't get our money. They didn't but get, you spend our money in the escrow, they can take money out of escrow to pay for their interest, but they don't touch it because they know it's illegal for you for them to charge you. Right. So what happens is if you take them to court, they got to have that money to pay you the fuck back. That's why it goes into escrow. Mm. That's why you, you pay for the house. That's why you can send. That's why you can send all the money back. The that's Correct. why you can send the money back because the money is still sitting into an asset account that benefits the bank. Now watch this. City been tapped in. Look, validation tapped of your loan. Years. Listen, what they say after after carefully reviewing your concerns. This some this a lot of this in your concern. Our records we have bought. Look, we validated the, the contract between Stacy and the seller. Midtown uh, Nissan was signed on February 4th, 2019 for the purchase of a 2017 Toyota Sienna in the amount of $35,689.50. This contract was assigned to Wells Fargo. Again, the contract was assigned to Wells Fargo. Right. Which means that at the time, the term of this loan is violent and re uh, remains in force. Guess what? That's a violation a 15 USC 1605. Finance charge. Right? I'm, I'm going to show that one. Um, they know the background of it. It's see, just, see how Instagram is? Geez. He ain't touched that somebody, button. Somebody calling me. Oh. I wish that she had. So now watch this, y'all. Um, now, Dillard. Dillard contract, right? I'm it's chilling. a Dillard contract. It's a Dillard name. Midtown. Jeez. Uh, Nissan, right? Number right. one, define this contract. You have to pick one of your contract for them to go into. For you to get, for you to get the loan, what do they need from you? Your social. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about, King. Up top, give me some, baby. Right? <laughs> need the social. Right. So now, social 
the fine of 15 USC 1602. Uh, is what? Uh, credit card. Sixteen oh two. Your credit card did what? Oh, let me slow down a little bit more. You, you sound too good. <laughs> you know what you're talking about. Let me slow down a little bit more. Bang. Let's go. Let's get into it. Finance charge. Finance charge. Define in fifteen USC sixteen oh five a right. Mm -hmm. Oh, sixteen oh. I'm sorry, sixteen oh five. 1605. Right. Amount finance, that's finance charge. It's 1605. Amount of finance, total payments. Y'all got cardinals. I know y'all see this. Y'all got uh, um, amount finance, total of payments, and total of price sales, right? So watch how this broke down. They charge 10 point, 10 point, 15% on the annual put, uh, APR rate. Finance charge was $9,914.45. The amount finance was $27,000. Five hundred and twenty-three and twenty-nine cent. The total amount came to thirty-seven thousand four hundred and thirty-seven and seventy-five cent. The total sell price came to thirty-seven thousand four hundred and thirty-seven. When she started off, it was twenty-seven thousand. So y'all tell me what's going on. So the bank trying to come get their ninety-eight hundred dollars. Do they trying to come get? That's a hell of a finance charge. No, I'm, let me start. Let me start down a little bit more. I ain't got my glasses. I had a lot of things <laughs> I needed to say, you know, when I cried at all. I would have told the truth. Now, hold. Uh, hold. Watch this. The Jim, hope I got your pens. Property damage and liability insurance is not included. Guess what violation that is, y'all? Had just witnessed her daughter testifying. Now, I now. always teach this, and I tell y'all. Your insurance is supposed to be included in the finance charge. In the finance charge. Oh, okay. Y'all getting it now. So it's supposed to be included. I have an option to say I want to get my own private insurance. They can't tell you to go get insurance. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's rewind this. And y'all know that I know this stuff because this is stuff that I do and we finance and put it included into the insurance. So let's know I do this the right way. So I'm just giving y'all, which I've been getting over. How y'all been getting? Uh, they been getting over on y'all. Violation. Yeah, she was 15 good. USC 1605C. That is the violation for not adding it yeah. as a property damage liability insurance. You know how to shoot. Jimmy Chill. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna write that in the chat. So they get no. 15 USC. 37.34. They charge you right for the insurance. Add it on as a security plus. Right. Right. Y'all ready for this? And then what they're going to bang you is, what's that supposed to be included in? They're supposed to be included in 15 U.S.C. 1605. Hey, a finance charge. The finance charge. All right, let me show that. As an excuse. Unless the defense opens a bank account. They're trying it, y'all. They're trying everything they can to get me out of here. Hold on. Let, 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 let boy get back. Hold on. Can you, can you see Don't a comment, do Jack? Don't do, don't do see the comments yet, Leaf? I can't see the comments, man. Hit the hit the notification bar. Scroll it down a little bit. You'll be able to see it. Like, touch the notification bar. If you had asked her, have you ever portrayed a character named... I got it. Would have said it's going to go something out. Right, now, watch this, y'all. Hold on. I ain't done. Y'all want me to die? I quit now. <laughs> no, I keep going. Let me quit. Keep going. Right, that's that, right? Let's go down a little bit. I'm, I'm, reading, I, I, I'm, I'm basically learning. reading your contract. I love learning. We'll come back down again, right? So hold on. Let me, let me, let me try to slide this around so y'all can see it. Y'all see this part right here I'm giving you right here? This is what the monthly payments is. Four, uh, $475.86. That's all the way down. That should be included in what? The finance charge. charge. Finance charge, right? Okay. All right. Let me, let me, get, back. Let me get back to business again. Okay, she me clear fine. Now, a little bit more. Hold on. Still in finance charge. Now, watch this. It says auto loan, right? Next payment due. The outstanding principal balance $23,000. I mean, $93.51. Y'all know, know what all that is? 15 USC. 1666D, it came positive. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's the, that's the actual loan. 
So when they send you your bill, 15 USC 1666D. Keep coming down. Hold on. Hold on. I ain't, I ain't done. Almost. 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 All these, all the stuff I'm giving you, you must get a new to Ross. Now watch. Now all that got sent, right? Y'all ready for this? There is no reason. All that got sent. Y'all ready? Yeah, I'm listening. This is what Fargo said back. I'm, 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 I'm going to get a receipt. Get a receipt for it. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to review your concerns that you shared with us on May 4th. We have complete our research and share our findings below about your cease and desist request. We review our system of record that you're requested to cease and desist placed on your account. The cease and desist was placed on your account as of May 6th. We apologize that this was not done in earlier. Not done earlier, right? If we got cease and desist, what that mean? Quickly. Oh, now hold on. What you need to know is say, as you requested, we place a cease and desist on your Wells Fargo account. This cease and desist will enable you to continue to receive payments, right? Statements, legal, legal required uh, notices, but we will not stop sending other mail, phone, text, and all that, right? Cool. I like what they said. They got grown, right? <laughs> they got grown. Right. I was devastated. I really, I didn't understand. I didn't get off, but then Hold she on. got Come on, Dad. And that she could feasibly spend the rest of her life in jail. I miss him. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. This is, now, look. So now they, they basically said they're going to cease the decision, but they still going to send me a mail, right? Right. So we're going right, to bang them again. We are writing responding to the shared concerns received and on May 28th. So you got another letter about your Wells Fargo auto loan. We have completed uh, through the review of the section, right, and are sh uh, sharing our findings below about your season assist request again. And in your shared concern, you expressed that you were dissat uh, dissatisfied with the season assist not being placed onto the account referred above. After through reviewing the account, we confirmed the season assist was placed on your account on May 6th. Prior to your request, we placed the season assist on Wells Fargo account. Refer to above. The cease and desist will stop mail, phone, text, email communication. However, legally required notice that monthly statements will be uh, received. The cease and desist will stay on the account for the life of the loan until a request to receive it to be removed. Uh, only uh, the original uh, requester will be able to remove the cease and desist. We apologize for inconvenience. This may be. Um, I'm sorry. We. We apologize for the inconvenience this may have caused, right? I'm gonna come back down again. Really I'm giving y'all, I'm giving y'all the process of this shit. Now, excuse my friend. You know, I've been right decision. Now, we have, because I had watch this. Now, watch Fargo said, "Oh, they on game. They on game. Now we come to take the car. Y'all ready? Ready." Right, right to curl. They, they're telling you, you they're giving you rights to cure the situation. Notice that your rights to correct the amount default and avoid vehicle repossession. Now, Nate, now what they doing, Cassandra? I mean, Cassandra? I'm just showing. They violating. I'm just showing. Are, are, are they threatening me to take the car? Yes. Yes, sir, it is. Talking about refunds. Yes, sir. They talk about repossession. Yes, sir. They talk about repossession. They ain't say depossession. They say repossession. They say repossession. Uh -huh. Let me. Oh, hold on, hold on, because I, I got to do something because I, I think something went over their head. But I'm going to get them back on game. Give me one second. Because something went over your head. Give me, I mean, let me tell you what went over your head at. One second. Got to pull this back up. I'm going to help y'all out because I know I, I'll be going so long and y'all probably forgot something that I said. 18 USC. If two or more persons conspire to injure the press or threaten, y'all did not see that? Mm-hmm. Did they try to take the car? Yes, yes sir. Okay. That's 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 not legal. Okay, right? Let's go back to it. When they threaten to take your car, you don't repossess the vehicle. 15 USC 
1692. D, one, D, two, and D, four. Go read it. The first time. Subsection, I mean, subject, action. You can take the correct, your default now, and prevent possible repossession. That's D1, D2, D4. Got it? Got it. Like it's so he never... Where you right may, now. and why you may be in danger of repossession. D2, you did not make a payment owed under the agreement. 15 U.S.C. 1692, C4. E, 1692, E6. 1592, 1692, D4. Give me y'all the game. 